The time has come for the Monday, May 3rd, 2021, 7 p.m. Special City Council meeting. Roll call, please. Alderman Newsom. Alderman Turner. Alderman Rivera. Alderman Florian. Alderman Taylor. Alderman Bolton. Alderman Seeger. Alderman Mosio. Alderman Kirkwood. Mayor Cunningham. Present. You have quorum, sir. Thank you. Before we get started, can we ask everyone to please go ahead and take your seats. As we go through, certainly we want all of you to have, to enjoy nice special occasions tonight. But um, from an applause standpoint, if we can wait for everyone who has gonna go through their process complete, then we applause, it'll help us out. Thank you very much. Um, item C, Mayor's comments. No, invocation. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize, that's right. Uh, this is a, so right now we're gonna do. Uh, invocation and then pledge. Good, we have the, we're gonna be led by the invocation by Pastor Alex Solar and immediately following that, two chiefs, police and fire will lead us again in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pastor, I thought I was like, hey, how you doing, sir? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you today, Father. We thank you for your goodness, for your authority, God, your sovereignty. God, we are recognizing that you are in this place. Father, we recognize that you love Waukegan more than anybody in this place can ever love Waukegan. You love the people in Waukegan more than we can ever love the people of Waukegan. You love the students of Waukegan more than we can ever love the students of Waukegan. So God, we just call upon you now, Father, to be involved, God, and to take over, Lord God, the city of Waukegan. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the progress that, Lord God, Mayor Cunningham and his team have made up until this point. Father, we thank you for the progress that's gonna be made uh, through Mayor-elect Taylor, God, and her team. Father, we thank you because ideas change and methods change. God, we thank you because there are updates in the way we address uh, different challenges and new solutions that are coming out every day, God. But we thank you because you remain the same. Your love for people remains the same. Your love for Waukegan remains the same. So God, we cry out before you that we need you more than ever. We pray that you protect our city officials, their families, their minds, their heart. We protect them, Lord God, from any physical harm, any health danger, Lord God. Protect their homes, God, their surroundings. Protect our city, God, our kids, our families. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, because, Lord God, you are bringing a spirit of unity among Waukegan. We have so many things that divide us, God. But we declare today that we're going to use our diversity for multiplication and not for division anymore, God. We declare that today is a new day, Lord God. Through this transition, Father, Lord God, we step into what you already have in place, our God. Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity. We thank you for this space. <laughs> and Lord, we, God, we thank you because you're still in control. We love you and we honor you. And we pray this all in the name that is above all other names, the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You should go to his church if you want to see some more. Thank you. All rise. Chiefs. Uh, item C, Mayor's comments. My closing thoughts. These past four years, I've worked with all the men, Clerk Kim Kelly, Treasurer Schwab, all of our amazing department head and staff, and you, the public, 
to bring progress that would empower our community for generations to come. While there are still more things to be done, we must acknowledge while Keegan has come a long way in the past four years. We eliminated a $3 million deficit, created the first five-year capital improvement plan, bringing historical reinvestment to our roads, sidewalk, bridges, water systems, but much more is needed. Brought heat lamps, ADA bathrooms to our downtown metro station, celebrated our LGBTQ plus community with the first ever sponsored Pride event and the raising of the Pride flag at City Hall. Delivered COVID testing vaccination sites to our community. We have the largest solar project in the state coming soon in Yeoman Creek. Sued the Trump administration for their discriminatory questions against undocumented residents, not just in our city, but throughout this country. Partnered with the Waukegan Housing Authority and, and are bringing a completed renovations of Barwell Manor and a renovation of all of their Waukegan public sites. Transferred the long dilapidated Carnegie Library to the Park District so that, so that property can finally be restored and bring new life to our downtown with the help of many partners as well as our Community Development Block Grant Department with their grants. Passed, and I'm gonna say we, passed a new comprehensive plan for the first time since 1987. Created the Waukegan Proud Award to honor those members of our city and community making a difference, big or small. Joined a join a way out program, and this one hits home, in order to fight the opiate epidemic that's destroying not just Waukegan communities, but communities throughout this country. We came together to fix Washington Street after Washington called for collapse, and in the process, received the National American Public Works Association Award for getting it done in 2.5 months, as opposed to what it normally takes 2.5 years. Brought online building permits, won Soul Smart gold recognition for eliminating bureaucracy and streamlining solar panel permitting. We brought national, international attention to our Great Lakes through our leadership on the Waukegan Equity Commission of the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence City Initiative. And yes, partnered with our state legislators and got them to finally pass into legislation for something that 30 years our city has pursued, bringing entertainment center and casino to our Fountain Square. We have done these things and many more together. And with help of countless individuals, businesses, and other business partners, we can be proud of Waukegan. As I conclude, my time is made. This job has been the honor of my life. I have acknowledged, I have to acknowledge my family. My mom, who's the vice chair of Lake County government. A lady who spent two eight-hour jobs caring for her children. When her husband left, murdered when I was one. Never looked back, never complained, just pressed down and moved forward. Now I know I'm supposed to say, Commissioner, but Mama, you did well. My daughters, the 
last 20 years, I've been committed to public service. And I did it with the passion that I was taught. I was trained, I was nurtured. I did it with the commitment that requires in our community. And let's be clear, in the first ward, you better have passion, you better have commitment. If not, you will lose the fight that sometimes City Hall neglected on the southeast side of town. But my two daughters, Sierra and Samantha, they allowed me to do that and still be their dad. Some used to criticize because I used to go to softball and basketball games and sometimes not attend other things. But today, I'm coming in as I'm going out on my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Sierra. She's in the room with me. My brothers and sisters, and as mentioned earlier, the youngest of our siblings passed away. I attend so many different funeral services, but when you attend someone as close to you as your sibling, your brother or sister, it's a different feeling, folks. I say to you, love your family as much as you possibly can when they're here. I think about my brother Alvin all the time. We all sometimes get choked up. But that was my guy. We slept in the same room for 18 years together. My sisters and brothers, my sister is here, Jackie, uh, is Greg Mozio's classmate, but that was my protector in school until I got a little bit bigger and I could do it myself. To my friend, my partner, the love of my life, Denise, thank you for being by my side. But I see you and I enjoying life together as we move forward. Finally, I wish Mayor Let, I'm gonna stop saying Let, you the mayor. Mayor A, B, Taylor, nothing but the very best in your historic term as the Mayor Walking. Now, Walking. We have not had a consecutive mayor in over 20 years, but be proud that you have went back to back with historic in this community. So that is a plus and a blessing that you've given us. So congratulations, young lady. I wish you nothing but the very best because Waukegan deserves so much and we were all are hopeful of what you, your dedication, your commitment, will come for the city in the near future. Thank you. <laughs> well, keep it strong, and I'm out.
I, Janet E. Kilkelly, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the, of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office of Circuit Clerk. City Clerk. <laughs> of a city clerk of the office of city clerk for the city of Waukegan for the city of Waukegan to the best of my ability to the best of my ability congratulations thank you sir Normally, I don't get to say much except roll call, but tonight you have to listen. First off, I'm excited to be here. And thank you to Judge Reginald Matthews for making me legit. And to the Genesee Theater and Uline for opening up this beautiful venue for our public meeting within the IDPH rules. I'd like to do a shout out to Dave Motley and Jane Ferry for coordinating tonight's event. Tonight I get to say thank you to those who have helped me. Thank you to my husband Larry Kilbane for always supporting my ventures. I think I ran 13 times, so that's the baker's dozen. In addition, we have our daughters in the house, Lauren and Margaret Kilbane. I have my perennial sign guy and father, Paul Kilkelly, and my mother, Joan Kilkelly will be 90 this month. <laughs> Plus, one of my four sisters and twin, Joan Kilkelly Laity. I am only as good as a staff who represents me on a daily basis, and I am blessed with a dedicated deputy clerk, David Patterson, and clerk staff, Ruth Ona and Nathalie Alvarez. Every day, they embody my goals of customer service to all. Thank you for your commitment to excellence. To Mayor Cunningham, it has been a true honor serving beside you as the administrative team for the city of Waukee in these past four years. Your leadership led us through last year's police shooting. By coming together with other community leaders, together you diffuse the situation in Waukegan was spared what occurred in other communities. Your early commitment to environmental issues was evident in the passage of the Paris Agreement in 2017, plus the push for ETO testing. Your pledge to, do, to devote money to infrastructure is evident as one drives around the city, including the emergency repair within four months of our Gateway Street, the collapse of Washington Street 100-year-old culvert. This included protecting the AT&T information highway that supplies Western Lake County and runs under this street. My heartfelt appreciation to you and your leadership and for bringing me along as a partner. Godspeed, my friend. To Mayor-elect Taylor, whew, this is indeed a historic day for you and the city of Waukegan. Congratulations. I look forward to working with you as the new administration for the greater Waukegan community, along with Treasurer Dr. John Schwab, who I get to swear in as soon as he says his remarks. John. It's you. Thank you. Good evening. I couldn't imagine that 12 years ago when I stood here, Within two weeks, I would go to the new mayor, Robert Sabajan Jr., to tell him that we were three years behind in completing and filing audits and three and a half years behind to starting the next one. That wasn't all. Two weeks later, I had him in my office to discuss him and others, to discuss we're out of money. Not money for the next project, money for payroll. We weren't sure that the paychecks that are due on Friday 
would not be due until the next Tuesday. Four weeks it happened again. He had a hell of a hell of a start, a hell of a hell of a time. Same day I asked him to fire the finance director. He didn't do it at the time, but a little bit later, um, that that got happened, and he hired a CPA from uh, from Gurney. And uh, we already had a remediation plan. Sixteen months later, we were on the same year with extensions to the state. And she didn't have the staff that we have that we have that we have cur uh, currently. During that time of sixteen months, I converted the office. We are all in paper. If we got eighty, if we had eighty cents on, on an account for the month, that was written down longhand. Everything. That is all now converted to electronic. When the auditors want something, it takes Joan 20 minutes to gather it up electronically and send it to them. Then we, then we collect the paper behind it. We, we couldn't use a credit card. There was no credit card use at all for anything at City Hall. So we wanted to be business friendly, and, a, and a, a, a contractor comes in and he either can't locate the check, can't find it, or he wrote out the wrong amount. He can't take a credit out and pay it. We, 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 couldn't, we, couldn't, we couldn't do that. And taking money to the bank, we put the day's receipt from the day before in a satchel under the arm and sent the person to the bank. I knew that wasn't right. Today, we have a smart safe. It's entirely, it's entirely different. It's a reverse cash machine. Cash does not leave City Hall. It's entered in there. The moment that it's entered, it's the same as if it's in the bank. All the checks are electronically, uh, electronically recorded. So all of those things happen. So even though you don't see on, on the surface of some of the some of the improvements that have gone over the over the years, with the help of a, with the help of a lot of other people, I just want to assure that the, the new mayor that that finance and treasury are, are ready to support her. We're award we're award winning. All the audits are up to date. The new audit will get get started. And just it's just on a different note. I've had three uh, male mayors or four if you count Hyde. This is my first woman, and she's a businesswoman. And man, am I looking forward to that, All right? It's a breath of fresh air, and let's get started tomorrow. John Archbaugh. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Illinois. Of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I'll faithfully discharge. The duties of the Office of City Treasurer. The duties of the Office of City Treasurer. For the City of Waukegan, to the best of my ability. For the City of Waukegan, to the best of my ability. So I'd uh, like to acknowledge my family, um, my, my wife of uh, 52 years, my dance part partner for 56, Susan Goodboo Schwab. Um, I'm proud of all my children. Uh, my son Roger Schwab uh, is here. He, is, he has two boys. Jeremiah uh, is, is here also. The other one is not available. He's out trying to, to make a, a living on the minor golf circuit. Jeremy uh, just started in real estate uh, about a year ago. And I was just amazed how well he's doing. So congratula congratulations to him. My daughter, uh, Cindy, Cindy Joy, has a wonderful husband. Gary, their daughter, is uh, Lexi, who helped me get sworn in. She's a bright girl, and she loves horses. She's really good at it. My youngest is Beth. She's bright and a very hard worker. I want to thank them all for their support. Okay, Mayor-elect. So again, honored to be here. As we transition from one historic moment 
do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of Illinois. And the state of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties. The duties. Of the office of the mayor. And the office of mayor. For the city of Waukegan. For the city of Waukegan. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. being here this evening. It is truly my honor to be here tonight. As I look out into the audience, I see so many people who work so hard for me. You got signatures during a COVID pandemic. You walked the wards. You sent friend to friend cards. You called me and emotionally supported me. You financially supported me. I can't thank you enough. I want to thank Pastor Alex Soler for the beautiful and inspirational invocation. I want to thank Judge Reggie Matthews for swearing me in. And congratulations to Waukegan City Clerk and Waukegan's Treasurer, Dr. John Schwab. Before I go any further, I need to make some personal thank yous. The first one, to the man that I've been with for 40 years, the angel in my life, and the love of my life, my husband, Wayne. Many of you know him more than you know me. This man has been by my side, and I truly can never say enough about him. I also want to recognize my daughters, Lisa and Diana. I'm so proud of you for the women you are, but mostly I understand the sacrifices you make on a daily basis for your mother to stand up here. I truly love you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm so proud of you. To my bestie, Dawn. Dawn I've known since the fourth grade. I guess she's probably got the most dirt on me, so I probably want to keep her a hidden secret. But she truly has been the woman that has shown me strength, dignity, compassion. She's a woman that I admire the most and talk to regularly. She's always in my heart, whether I see her or not, and I know she'll always be there for me. So thank you to those people. To Mayor Cunningham, thank you for your years of dedication to this community. Thank you to your family for supporting you through those dedicated years. This community deserves to give you a ton of gratitude for what you have done, and thank you. The time for campaigning is over, and now it's time for good government and leadership for the city of Waukegan. From the start of this campaign, I said that as mayor, I would treat everyone in this city fairly, equally, and respectfully. And that starts right now. I want everyone here to know that whether you voted for me or not, I'll proudly work for you as your mayor. Come on. <laughs> the people of Waukegan want and deserve a voice. The people want us to be the city of progress, 
and working together with everyone in our community, whether you're black, brown, white, male, female, Democrat, or Republican, I pledge to you that we'll make real progress for our hometown. We'll make real progress in engagement with our residents. We'll improve outreach and working with the business community to make more businesses want to move into Waukegan. And I'll lead our city staff to ensure that everyone employed by the city is charged and ready to move our city forward. To the residents of the Ninth Ward, thank you for the honor of supporting me through three elections. It's been a life's blessing to be your voice in City Hall. To our city's aldermen, serving alongside you for the last six years has been an honor, and I will truly miss serving as a Ninth Ward alderman with you. As the mayor of Waukegan, I'll bring my resident-focused approach to our city government that has been the hallmark of my service in the Ninth Ward. I'm looking forward to four years of collaboration, knowing that we can accomplish great things for our city by working together, and we will make crucial improvements in the next four years. As the first woman mayor of the city of Waukegan, I am fully committed to diversity, equality, and inclusion for all our residents. And in that vein, I want to thank the trailblazing women of Waukegan that came before me. Thank you, Fifth Ward Edie Newsom, for your service. As many of you know, Edie was the first black female alderman in our city. To Lisa May, while you did not win the election four years ago, you gave women a historic step towards breaking the glass ceiling in Waukegan. During the following weeks and months, I'll be laying out an ambitious plan to ensure that we restore Waukegan as the heart and soul of Lake County. We can all dream big, but I intend to turn our dreams for the city into reality. I know this will take a lot of hard work and patience, but I believe that we should, as Daniel Burnham said about the city of Chicago, make no little plans. And I promise you as your mayor, I won't be making little plans. When my family immigrated to the United States, I was just a child. My parents came here and sacrificed for me to have a better life, and they achieved that. But nowhere in their dreams did they anticipate that their daughter would be the first female mayor for the city of Waukegan, the city that they called home. I loved growing up in Waukegan, and I want the parents here today to know that I want your kids to love growing up in this city too. We will think big and take big actions to improve the quality of life for all our residents. That is my charge, that is my mission, and with your help and support, we'll make it happen. Thank you. Congratulations to our new mayor, Mayor Taylor, on your historic election. I look forward to working with you. You are my fifth mayor that I've worked under, and I will give you the same respect and commitment that I have those before you. I know that you'll do well, and I know that all the aldermen will work alongside you to make sure that you're um, plans that you have for Waukegan are carried forward. Congratulations again. I'd also like to say that um, the Fifth Ward will be having our Operation Clean Sweep uh, Tuesday, May 18th at the corner of Lewis and Glenflora. It will be, the roll-off will be placed in the east, southeast corner near the Ross Dress for Less uh, store. 
Uh, there's flyers that will be going out as well. The time is going to be from 8.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, there are certain items that you cannot bring that are on the flyer, such as yard waste and building materials. Uh, we will be taking tires, but they must be off the rim, and we will be taking old electronics. If you have any questions regarding what you can or cannot bring, please feel free to give me a call, and I will answer those questions for you. I can be reached at 847 494 4190. And also, I would like to offer my condolences to all those that have lost their loved ones during this pandemic. Some are not due to the pandemic, but uh, we've lost a lot of lives in this community. Um, Brother Blanks mentioned Brother, uh, Mr. Arthur Brumfield. Condolences to his family. We lost uh, Mr. James Sisson just a couple weeks ago, uh, who was laid to rest today, a community activist that uh, really gave a lot to the North Chicago, Waukegan, this Lake County area, uh, giving back. Uh, he was truly a committed community servant, and I offer my condolences to his family. That's all I have. Thank you, Alderman Newsom. Alderman Turner. Thank you, Madam Clerk. So in the sixth ward, I got a report that we have a new mayor. I am excited and I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm uh, proud of you and I'm excited about you. I am looking forward to the changes and uh, that you will bring to us with your administration. I, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed uh, with my excitement for you because I know there are good things to come with, under your leadership, and I, I look forward to working with you and uh, doing everything I can to help you to be a success. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Turner. Alderman Rivera. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, I'd like to congratulate the city clerk, Janet Kilkelly. I would like to also congratulate Treasurer John Schwab. Thank you, sir. Um, and most of all, congratulations, Mayor Taylor. It's gonna be a sincere pleasure and honor to work with you. I've known you for two years and your professionalism and what you bring to the table is gonna be outstanding and I can't wait. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alderman Rivera. Alderman Florian. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, and congratulations on your re-election and Dr. Schwab on your re-election. And as Alderman Rivera said, most of all, congratulations, Anne, on your victory. Um, I'm very proud of you. I know it wasn't easy to do what you did. Um, we still have four wards in Waukegan that have never had a woman alderman, and we have a woman mayor. <laughs> um, I'm the first woman alderman of my ward, and um, that, that, that was a special thing for me to, to break that barrier, and we still have four. We have to get ladies, so come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> It's been an honor to sit next to you. I'm going to miss that. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to request a move to the, the middle of the section here so I don't lose that. You've, you've mentored me and taught me a lot. Um, you're willing to listen. We can, we can discuss things without getting edgy with each other. I, I'm so looking forward to that. Um, and I'm gonna work very hard to make your vision a reality. We may not agree on everything going forward, but I will work very hard to make Waukegan what I know it can be. And I'll be right there by your side the whole time. So congratulations. Thank you, Alderman Florian. Alderman Bolton.
want to say thank you and congratulations to our city treasurer and Jen Jacob Kelly. And congratulations to our new mayor for being the example of breaking barriers. And I endeavor to work with you and be a team player and pray for you. God bless. Thank you, Alderman Bolton. Alderman Seeger will pass. Alderman Mosio, please. Alderman Newsom seems to be stealing everything I'm going to say. Uh, and it must be our experience. Me and Alderman Newsom came in at the same time. Alderman Taylor uh, will be my fifth mayor that I've worked with. And just like I've told every other mayor, I will work with you to make Waukegan better because that's what we're all up here to try to do. And I think uh, Mayor Taylor knows in that job, you have to find people that you can lean on. And I'm here if you need someone to lean on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Mosio. Alderman Kirkwood. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, congratulations, Madam Clerk, Treasurer Swab, and also to our new mayor, Taylor, congratulations to you. Uh, as many have said before, we'll support you, but we'll also make sure that we're working together as a team. So congratulations. Thank you, Alderman Kirkwood. Mayor Taylor, that concludes Alderman's time. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Alderman Rivera, seconded by Alderman Taylor. All those in, or Turner, I'm just like, <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. That Aye. concludes Aye. the meeting. I do have an, uh, an announcement on behalf of the theater that if you would like to congratulate the newly elected officials, please remain seated. All other guests may exit at this time. Ushers then will release the remaining guests row by row to form a reception line so that we adhere to uh, the COVID protocols. So if you'd like to leave, please leave. If you want to go through the reception line, stay where you're at. There you go. But that's it. <laughs>